theremin, it is one of the only instruments in the world played without any physical contact. The theremin is an electronic instrument that was invented over a hundred years ago by a Russian scientist named Lev Tremet. And I saw the theremin one time on a TV show when I was a little kid, um, to show George Shrinks. Someone else would have tried to play music on this at some point, so I looked up Somewhere Over the Rainbow um, and came across this recording by a guy named Peter Pringle. And I listened to it and I cried for like two hours on a Saturday night and I was like, this is it. I want to do this for the rest of my life. So, after a lot of arguing with my parents, I went out and got a theremin. So, I am self-taught. Um, practicing and acquiring learning materials was definitely a challenge. Because unlike traditional instruments where, you know, there's repertoire that you would encounter in a conservatory setting, and, and much before that, repertoire that you'd encounter in typical training, for example, RCM. Well, the theremin doesn't have any of that. What I had to do instead was go and watch YouTube videos of people who I really loved playing the instrument. But I'd watch them very closely, and I'd listen to what they did. And I didn't like all of everything they played, but there were parts from each of them that I was like, wow, that sounded great, I want to do that. And I'd get by my instrument and practice and practice and practice and reference the videos and look at all the different movements, the elbows, the wrists, the fingers, until I could do it. The way the theremin works, um, playing-wise, is we basically just play around two antennas. We have this right antenna here, that's the pitch antenna. And the further away I get, the lower pitch I'll get again. And this left antenna here, which is a little loop, that's the volume antenna. They do what they say they do. I would consider the theremin to be a part of my future career in some way. I want to get to a level of theremin playing um, where I achieve two things. The first thing I want to achieve is a sense of mastery. And concurrently, I would like to achieve a level of mastery where I am making other people feel that same sense of inspiration and awe and delight that I felt when I first started there. I want to move people with the music that I make.